This is a diagram from a problem on the 2009 state teen test. And I was kind of puzzled by the problem, because in the problem it was about a ladybug walking from point A to point B, and how many ways could the ladybug walk on this path. And, well, I figured the math counts people had been kind of confused. You know, all that snow, they'd been stuck inside a lot. And, well, they didn't realize, well, at least out here in San Diego, ladybugs fly. So out here, the answer would just be one. The ladybug would just fly from point A to point B. So I was kind of puzzled. So what I decided to do, you know, just to make sure that the rest of you who live in you know, places that don't get snow uh, wouldn't get puzzled too, I changed the problem just a little bit. I'm going to change the problem into something that I can understand better and the Math Counts people can appreciate. So here's how the problem is going to work. The Math Counts office is going to be down here at point B. And see, the Math Counts people, well, they just went over a thousand fans in Facebook, and so they wanted to celebrate. And they went to a restaurant up here at point A. So they were at lunch, they're having a real good time, nice long lunch, really good food. And well, you know what happens in, in, in around the Washington area, if you wait an hour and a half, foot and a half of snow drops. So they're stuck here at the restaurant, and there's a foot and a half of snow between them and their office. Now, fortunately, the restaurant owner, nice guy, he comes out and says, I'll give you my shovel so you can shovel back to your office. I, I would have brought a shovel in to use as a prop, but <laughs> I live in San Diego, why would I have a snow shovel? So they're going to have to snow shovel, snow shovel from A all the way back down to their office here at B. Now, the math counts people are smart, that's why they get to run math counts. So when they're shoveling their path from A to B, they're not going to backtrack. You know, they're not going to shovel, get to here, and then go up, because that would be crazy. They're going to want to shovel as little as possible, because who likes to snow shovel? So they're going to try to do something like, you know, they go here, then here, and then all the way down, and then across to B. That would be a perfectly fine path, a long path, and a lot of snow shoveling. Have fun with that. But a perfectly fine path. They could also go across the top and down, or stay on this side all the way. Shovel, shovel. That's fun, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's not. That's why I live in San Diego. So here's the question. How many different paths could they take snow shoveling from A to B. All right, so now, now that we understand the problem, it should be pretty easy. Uh, sh should be pretty easy. I mean, there's a lot of different ways here. Let's, let's see. Well, let's just try to kind of list them out. We could just stay here on this side. That's one. That's one. We could stay here on this side until right here, cut in and go down. That's, that's two. Stay right here, maybe go in there, down here, over there. Down there, that's three. Or maybe we go in first, down. Uh, there are a lot, a lot of them. And if we just list them out like this, how will we know we get them all? And we might make a mistake and count some of them two or three times, and that would be bad. We're going to have to find something a little more clever to do. Hmm. Let, let's, let's think about an easier problem. Let's imagine what the math counts people did when they got to 10 fans. 10 fans on Facebook, that just means they got everybody in the office to sign up. So they're not going to have a huge celebration for that. They're going to go to the hot dog stand that's right nearby. And there's a hot dog stand right here, just a block away. And if it snows while they're at the hot dog stand, well, that's not a very long path back home. And there's just one way, one way for them to do it. So the problem we're, you know, starting from right there and going down, piece of cake. There's only one way. And there's a hot dog stand over here. They could have gone to this one, too. A little variety. Just one way to do that, to get back to the office from that hot dog stand, too. Now, let's think about what happens. You know, a few days go by. They're up to 25 fans. They get all the teachers in the, in the area to sign up, and some of the students. And they're going to go to the fast food joint right here. And then snows, and they get stuck there. Well, now how can they get back? Well, they can go to this block. And then home, they can go down this block, and then back to the office. There's two ways. So that's not too bad. There's also a fast food joint up here. Now, from there, it's easy. There's only one way to get back. The shortest route is straight back. So that's a piece of cake. In fact, if they were anywhere on this side, there's just one way, one short way back. Well, it's not that short when you get all the way up here. But there's only one way where they can just go straight down to get to their office, because they're not going to shovel in to the left, because that's going to be extra shoveling, and, and nobody likes to do extra shoveling, do they? So, let's see, so they got to, when they had 25 fans, they were there, they had two ways back home, 
some, and to get up to 50 fans that are really excited. They're going to go a few blocks away. They're going to go here. They're going to go here to lunch. Now, how can they get back? Well, they can go this way, and we already know that from here, there's just one way back to the office. Or if they went down first, well, from here, we know there are two ways back. So there's one way if I go right first, and two ways if I go down first. That's a total of one plus two. That's three ways from here. And if they'd gone really far away from the office, gone an extra block over here, well, that's still only three ways to get back to the office, because their first step, they're going to go to this block, and we know there are three ways, three ways back. So imagine they went here. Now how many ways can they get back to the office? Well, if they go right first, there's just one way to finish. If they go down first, there are three ways to finish. And they have to go right first or down first, so that's a total of one plus three four ways to get back from there, and now we have a plan. We can just keep doing this. Each little block, each little, each of these corners where they could have started, we can look at their first step and add the possibilities from there. And we'll take a look from right here. Imagine they went to a restaurant right here. You know, they're up to maybe 150, 200, 200 fans. They're pretty happy. There's a nice, there's a really nice Thai place right here. So they go there, and if they get stuck and they're going to have to snow shovel back, their first step, if they go right, they have four options from here to finish. If they go down, they have three options from there to finish. So the total is four plus three, seven different ways to get from here back home. And now I can just fill out the rest of the grid. If we started from here, well, if we went right, we have one. If we went down, we have four. That's a total of five ways to get back from there. Similarly, there's one plus five. There's six ways to get back from there. One plus six is seven ways to get back from up here. Now from this corner, if we went right first, there are five ways to get back to the office. If we went down first, there are seven ways to get back to the office. Seven plus five is 12. Six plus 12 is 18. Now from here, the only thing they can do is go right first. And then there are 12 ways to finish from there. 12 and 18 is 30. Seven and 18, that's 25. So now from their restaurant where they're stuck after they're going to celebrate their 1,000 fans on Facebook, and you can help them get to 10,000, because when they get to 10,000, I think they're coming out here to San Diego. The number of ways they can get back from the restaurant to their office is 25 plus 30. That's 55 ways. And I'm glad we finished that off, because, you see, we here at Art of Problem Solving, we're about to reach 1,000 Facebook fans, too, and we're going to celebrate by going to the beach. And for those of you back at Math Counts, that there, that's the sun. See you later. I'm done, y'all. Let's go to the beach.